Guys, I'm hearing noises. I'm seeing things flying around. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done. I've done a lot of dumb stuff on this channel, but this is stupid. <laughs> no, I don't. That's perfect. War pugs, it's redneck paranormal time. War pugs, it's time for another episode of Redneck Supernatural. Redneck Supernatural, Redneck Paranormal. I can't remember what I named this. God, I'm I suck. War pugs, so. In this series, I take a look at, like, paranormal videos, and I rank them on a scale of nope, nah, and not today, Satan. And nah being, this this is, this is obviously not right. Nope means I can't tell if it's not right, and not today, Satan means I'm already in the car leaving. Guys, this is, um, oh my god, I, I, I honestly looked at this before I got into it. This is Nuke's Top 5. And it's, it says, Real Ghost Caught on Camera, Top 5 Paranormal Videos. So, we're going to jump into this. We're going to um, rate these. I'm going to talk about what I'm seeing here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to find out what I, am, what, what I am and am not doing in the next 24 hours. Let's go. Here we go. Top 5 Ghosts. On camera. Sweet, we're looking at ghosts ghost today. And the angry Aussie. The ghost, the angry well, Aussie. The of this thing, there was this weird shape, man. He said that I'm in here. Western Australian homeowner Kevin Vidal is far from your typical ghost hunter. Right. In fact, Kevin says that he's quite annoyed with the. Look, hold on a second. Wait one, because we gotta we gotta go back to this. Every man has done this. Every man has done this at least once. Now, some of y'all, I know, I know some of y'all just got the futon set up with the small TV and everything like that, but I know I did this for the better part of two years, and uh, yeah, like, feel no shame. We have all been there, my guy. In fact, Kevin says that he's quite annoyed with the disruptive behavior of the shadow spirit that he says haunts his home. In this video sent in to me on Facebook, we basically just see Kevin wandering from room to room of his home, cursing at the ghost, who he has nicknamed Little <laughs> We can also hear a few bizarre <laughs> sounds that Kevin claims are EVPs. Okay. Where are you? But otherwise, the video is mostly uneventful. It just goes without saying that, you know, I would never want to sit there and be a ghost hunt in an Australian guy's house because he's going to be wanting to fist fight me, and I'm just trying to be peaceful in the afterlife. But I can't because I got this Aussie wanting to fight me. With just Kevin strolling through the home and making vague threats to the spirit. See what I mean? Right now, man, we're going to bless this from here. I think that was an EVP. But Kevin says that when the video is watched back with a more critical eye, there are a couple of actual sightings of the strange shadow being that he says haunts his home. Okay. Got that air wick, I can appreciate that. That lavender scent. You're making that vaping noise, huh? Talking? In this scene, Kevin says that you can actually see the shadow creature rising right wait, up from wait, the floor. Wait, 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 Now, when I first saw this, my initial thought was that this just looks like a dog or yeah, a that's large what I cat walking towards the door. The clip is only half a second long, so it's kind of hard to tell. But this next clip is a little harder to explain. All right, let's get into it. I didn't see Jack. Bro, this is my guy right here. Like this is this guy, me and him can get along just damn fine. He's got the grill in the living room. Propane grill in the living room. My guy, me and you would get along. As Kevin rounds a corner, 
we can quickly see some large dark shape darting back and forth oh. in the entryway near his front oh. door. Whatever this is, moves at a superhuman speed in the few frames that it's visible. And it can't simply be explained away by any in-camera glitch that I know of. Kevin Vidal only ever posted this one single YouTube video to his channel. Then, he pretty much disappeared from YouTube. One can only hope that that house blessing that Kevin kept threatening Okay, okay. ...the ghost with actually worked. Nah, not today, Satan. Nah, we're okay. We're, we're fine. We are fine. I don't need to go to the land down under because I can only imagine what the ghost is like when the koalas are the way they are. I'm just saying. I'm don't, I don't want to deal with that. I just do not want to deal with that. Not today, Satan. I don't need to go in any further into that. You guys saw what I saw. Nope. Nah. Leave it alone. It, it's done. I'm gone. I'm already in the car with the keys in the ignition. We're speeding down the road. I am laid about a quarter inch a tire on it. Now, if there's one thing we learned in last week's video, it's that driving Hell the back no. roads of India late at night can be a very... Back roads of India late at night. There are tigers there, my guy. Frightening experience. Nah. Nah. Now this next video takes place on nah. Chikmagalur Hill Road in India. Three men are driving in a car down nah. a creepy winding back road when they see something very strange up ahead. Okay. That first, that first one of this is nah. Just yeah. Am I supposed to be seeing something here? Man, your brakes are busted, bud. Like, this dude's whole undercarriage is shattered. I mean, I don't... But whatever he's listening to is a banger, I'm just saying. Let's go fast on this... That's just the person on the side of the road. I run into this kind of stuff all the time, man. You you drive down certain roads, you're just gonna run into people on the side of the road, man. This is this ain't this ain't nothing. This ain't nothing scary. Yeah, it's kind of worrying that they're sitting there walking down the road by themselves at night where tigers are around. But maybe they just maybe they're just done. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. A bizarre white figure seems to just be standing motionless by the roadside. Probably wonder what y'all doing. Move or even flinch as they pass dangerously close to her on the small road. Probably wonder what y'all doing. When I first saw this video, I thought that since this figure is so still, that maybe this was just a statue or possibly even a mannequin of some kind set up to eh, fool unsuspecting knows? drivers. However, as the group travels further down the road, it becomes clear that the bizarre figure is certainly no statue or mannequin. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a person. See, this is what happened. You done busted your wheel, you done busted your suspension, and that's why you gotta stop. Hey. Okay. Bye. Y'all probably Men see the mysterious white figure again further down the road. Nah. By this time, they are convinced that this is a ghost hauling the country road. And they I don't think panic. so. I don't think so. 
as they approach, things get even creepier. The apparition simply steps over a hillside guardrail yeah. and disappears head first into the darkness below. Yeah, I'd have to take a look at the area, stuff like that, but that's just, that's just, they were probably thinking they were about to get jumped. I mean, pro I'm telling you what, if I'm on the side of the road at night and some people start creeping up on me, my first instinct is, um, get out because I don't know how many of them it's going to take to whoop my ass, but I don't want to find out. I'm just saying. At this point, the three men have had enough and simply speed away. Yeah, get out. Like, you're reports, scaring people. No one was found injured along this roadway the next day. So this was not a jumper. But just who or what was it? Is this a ghost haunting the remote back road? Nah. Simply nah. That that that's you just decide. a person in one of the, in um creepy room. I don't know the name of the garment, but yeah, they just ran into some people walking down the road at night. Me and uh, me and the hospital, we live on we, we live on like winding mountain roads, and we'll run into people walking up and down the roads late at night, like two, three in the morning, just walking up and down the road. I'm just like, why aren't you at home, fool? Room in an abandoned house. Okay, we're here now. On the YouTube channel Bjama, host Alex Ray and his friend decide to do a typical YouTube 24-hour challenge okay. by spending the night in a burnt-out, supposedly haunted house. Local residents have reported strange noises coming from the residents at all hours of the night. Okay. Well, things don't go so great. Almost immediately, one of their cameras begins to malfunction mysteriously. Oh, it's, my camera's f***ing up. No way. One sec. Yeah. No, 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 my camera, guys, I don't know what happened. My camera just turned off by itself. You heard it getting getting it. Huh? You heard it my camera died though. At one point, Alex announces in an especially creepy little room that they will be filming there. If anyone's here, want to have a right? No, 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 no. If anyone's here, we just want to film a video, and we'll be gone like as soon as possible, like in about 24 hours, basically. He then proceeds to place candles in a circle all around the room. We're going to be putting candles everywhere on this room, so we have a lot of light. Are they scented? Because you might be giving a ghost an impression that he's going to have a nice aromic experience, and you're going to turn around and just put up some dollar stores. Mm -mm. Maximum light means no spirits will come in. You know, every single drop from the rain, it just comes down and hits on the floor, and it just sounds like... Sounds like machine cream. Burn! Devil, be gone! Not long afterwards, things start to get really bizarre around that strange little room. Okay. The area starts to become colder. Guys, I can't express to you how cold it is in here right now. I'm freezing. I thought this would be warm enough, but it's not. I would like to have known what temperature it was before this. No, no, I heard something in there. As the hours wear on, Alex Ray's previously cheery, lighthearted attitude starts to fade. Yo, don't, no, 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 stop. No, stop, stop. We've been here for so long. I only got two bars left of battery, so I'm being really selective on what I'm filming. Okay. Oh, sake, man, it's freezing here. Then after a few hours and a few more strange noises, this happens. What the f was that? Alex? Okay. Oh my god. I think it's time to go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This isn't good. No, no, no. Check, check, check. Pick. What's that first? Go check it. No, no, man. What the f That wasn't you, yeah? Huh? That wasn't you. I swear to God, this ain't right. We can't the be in. The is not complete, bro. Is it you? Yes, just tell me right now. I'm being serious. That wasn't me. I, I had my. I'm holding the camera. Swear. I swear. My dead brother's grave. That was not you. I swear, my dead brother's grave. I, I swear, trust me. No. Gather quick. All right. <laughs> that wasn't me. I'm holding. I got two hands. 
both young explorers hear movement coming from that same creepy little room. Okay. Some video commenters even claim to have seen movement in the shadows as the camera whips around nah, toward that's, that door. I don't think so. What the f was that? Hmm. That is. You disrupted a crackhead. Crackhead went in there to try to take, lay down and take a nap. Y'all just disrupted him. But of course, that could just be an optical illusion. Probably is. Let me know what you think. Either way, both of the young YouTubers decide it's time to give up on their 24-hour challenge and just get out quick. I don't blame them. Why? I wouldn't want to be there myself. I would like. I'm just saying, like, there is a limit to the to the BS I'm willing to put myself through, and that's it. I'm not going to jump inside of that, a burnt out house or burnt down anything. I'm not doing that. Um, I've been alive for too long to do that. Now, more power to them. Like, I didn't see much on this. So this is going to be the, this is going to be the first, like the only real thing I can see about this is how cold it got. Now, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me know what you think. Either way, both of the young you- Okay, so in that room it got cold. In that room it got really, really cold. I'd like to know what the temperature was before they went in there, what the temperature was on the, the outside. You know, I would like to know that kind of stuff, but aside from that, there's not merely much I can say. So I'm going to say, like, I, I'm going to abstain from this one because there's not enough for me to actually sit there and say anything yes or no about this. I mean... Just to be perfectly honest with you, there's not really much for me to say about it. YouTubers decide it's time to give up on their 24-hour challenge and just get out quick. There you go. So was this a real paranormal encounter in a haunted building? Or were these guys just a little too jumpy over a creepy little room? Eh, you decide. I can't, I can't make a decision either way on this the one. Anna so I'll ghost. say nope on this one. So there's a shop Anna called Novelties. Anna's Novelties in Adrian, Michigan that has one very unwelcome customer. Okay. The owner and workers at the shop claim that Anna's is haunted by a poltergeist that routinely knocks things from the shelves. Angry? Are you taping? Yes, Well, they filmed this thing on a waffle. It looks like someone threw it. Mm -hmm. Now, it's interesting to note that the products don't just drop off the racks as right. if they're not shelved properly, but actually fly off with some force. Yeah, well, they got that knocked off. There was off. enough repeated supernatural activity in the store that the owner called in a local group of ghost hunters. Okay. The Spirit Presence Paranormal Team. The team actually manages to catch some more bizarre incidents during their short investigation. Computer comes on. Okay. Falls. Ooh. Computer goes off. So, what do you think? Is this a ghost caught on CCTV? Or just some bad product racks and a buggy computer? Nah, nah, me nah. You see, this is... Mmm... Mm -mm -mm. There was nobody around the computer, and I didn't see anything happen at the. Okay. No, okay. you think? Nope. Stacker. This gets a note from me. This next video is pretty much a. That one gets a note from me. Simply, like, first off, I don't mess with thrift shops. I just don't. Go in there in a thrift shop, you're looking to come home with something. You might not get what you expect. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, don't ask me how I know this. Underneath the same criteria, War Pugs, um, I don't want the computer to turn off and on, because, like, okay, so, this is the thing about the computer thing. The computer thing kind of weirds me out a little bit. Oh, God, I just wish we had a, I wish we had more camera views of that. I'm saying nope on that one. I'm saying just a flat-out nope. I don't know. We'll leave it at that. Classic internet poltergeist video. In fact, it's that. a clip I've never featured just because it's one of those videos that's a little too perfect, if you know what I mean. 
But people keep sending it in to me and suggesting I put it in a top five. Okay. So, here it is. And as always, I'll let you be the judge. Okay. Philip Shapiro believes that his house is haunted. So when he starts hearing strange noises coming from the basement, he pulls out his camera and goes to investigate. Okay, the speed up was scary, okay? I'm just gonna say the speed up, the speed up got me on the pucker factor, I'm just saying. Dude, that is... We hear a strange noise that almost sounds like a growl yeah. coming from the basement. And then, within seconds, the chairs are stacked like a cheap set of Legos. So is this the poltergeist caught on camera, or just a well-crafted, long-running hoax? Okay. You decide. Hold up. So, most of the- Alright, alright. And goes to all right. me and- Okay, 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 okay. Alright, so- Okay, I'm saying nah, and I'm saying nah for one really, really good reason. I'm saying nah for one really, really good reason. Okay? I will tell you guys what the reason is. Hold on, here we go. So he walks through, goes in, okay? Everything's fine up until this point. Everything's fine. We're going to go, I'm going to get myself a drink. Hold on. He doesn't hear sounds coming out the basement. He waits till then no. to turn on the light. Okay? Hold on. We're gonna get there. He hears that. Then he deuces out and he stops right there. He stops right there. Look, look, look. If something growls at me and I don't have a dog nearby and there ain't nothing, you know, I ain't made my wife mad or something like that. You know, there isn't supposed to be a growl coming from that particular area that things are going on. I'm not just noping out of there. I'm not I'm I'm not just I'm not just running, okay? I'm going through things at that point. He stops to
to film this. The thing that growled at you is still there, and you didn't slam the door. That door would have been slammed so hard it would have made a new wall. You're not opening that thing again. It has molecularly bonded, okay? It's not coming back open again. Something growled at me from a room where nothing's in it? I'm sorry. We don't have a four-bedroom house anymore. We have a three-bedroom. And the reason being is this door just became a wall. But he stops and he films this, and he's just like, oh, let me take a couple steps back. Nah. I'm sorry. Game over. And he's really making an effort here not to pan the camera around or anything like that. Now, this was... Now, I can say... I can say without any hesitation, this is kind of... It is really interesting. Like... Kudos to whoever did this while he was filming and stuff like that. They had, they had time. They had time to do it. That was when I played it through the second time. I was checking to see how much time actually passed. So they had time to do something. This is just nah. This ain't hitting for me. Not at all. Not at all. All right, war pugs. So, we watched a few videos today. This one, the first one, based off the, uh, based off this thing right there that I can't explain. Hold on, let me get back to this up front here. Well, secondly, the fact that the guy has a grill in his living room, okay? The, the, if you are setting your TV on a box in front of a sofa, and you have a grill in your living room, it means you ain't got time for whatever shenanigans are happening right here. You ain't got time to you ain't got time to pull off that bullshit. You just don't have time to do it, okay? So that thing moving in front of the door, that is a not today Satan for me, okay? That is just not. Now this whole lady in white situation in India, this is just people walking down the road, man. I mean this is just people walking down the road. And this, this person is just like, I'm about to get jumped. You see, because when they started to stop, that's when he, that's when they they left up out of there. That person was just like, I don't feel like getting jumped. So that's a nah for me. These guys, I'll say nope, because I just can't see enough of what's happening. I can't see enough. I don't have enough information to really say anything, yes or no. The... Noises coming through there. I mean, somebody could have tried to come in and then heard them and then because like, you know, people will squat in just about anything. I'm just saying. I mean, it. I, you've seen you've seen it. I've seen it. Everybody's seen it. The only really thing, the, the only thing about this that would you know give me some pause is just taking a look at, you know, you know, what's going on as far as um, what the temperature was in the area before they went in there and started filming. And what the temperature was throughout the night. I mean, seeing that would give a lot of credence to this. So if I knew that, that would be that would be pretty awesome. I'm I'm, I'm just saying. So yeah, this one once this one once again, I give it a note because I can't really I can't really say anything. the 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 temperature thing gives me a little bit of pause, but yeah. Now this once again, Anna's novelty shop. Once more, I give a note to because <sighs> touchscreen computers don't just do that, okay? And then whatever was happening over there, I'm pretty sure if these guys were there, they would have caught it, but we don't have any real good camera angles here. We just don't. And then finally, the piece de resistance of this entire thing, this I give a nod to simply because, dude. Is something growls at me from a room where there ain't a dog or a mad wife in it? I'm out of there. I'm out of the house. Because whatever's in there that growled at me now owns that house until I get a priest, a shaman, a voodoo doctor, and at least four trained professionals to come in there on top of that. Okay? 
I don't want to mess with anything that growls at me, okay? That is a very, very bad day, and I don't care what anybody says about it. You can call me whatever you want to. Rednecks do not die in horror movies. That's it. Warpugs, this is the second episode of this, and I can't believe I'm doing this now, but I'm having fun doing it. I'm having fun doing this kind of stuff. If you guys then can think of something else for me to do in this kind of fashion, if you guys like this, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, check out the merch store, check out for early access by, by becoming a Patreon or member, and yeah, this is fun. Uh, this is actually a lot of fun. Um, Warpugs, I'll catch you guys next time. If you guys would like to know where this came from, uh, this is actually Nuke's Top 5, and the name of this was Real Ghost Con on Camera. I'll be putting the links to this in the description down below. I'll catch you guys next time.